Lynn's got me working today. So a couple of days ago, well, I've been here, this is my second day in Sejuna. And uh, yeah, I think I was pretty shattered when I turned up on Saturday. So you got me working today. Which is nice, because it's always nice to kind of try and do something, because I always feel a little bit guilty when I turn up to people's houses and if they don't, don't do nothing. Well, no, if they don't give me the opportunity. I'll you know, put you to work, all right. <laughs> so it's, we've been spending today kind of clearing out the workshop, because I don't know oh, if you noticed okay. yesterday when I was fixing the bike, but it was a bit cramped to kind of do anything. <laughs> so it's nice to have a bit of space now. that I could kind of do that for Lynn today uh, because I'm incredibly grateful to Lynn for, for kind of saying hey you can have a bed and, and, and you can stay for three nights um, and it's amazing that I could fix the bike as well because I didn't even know that I had a crack seat post uh, so <laughs> that could have been a real annoyance somewhere else but uh, here I got it fixed I hope we'll find out tomorrow on the roads because I haven't really ridden it yet uh, which is probably a bit silly but anyway great to be in the workshop to be able to actually do and fix stuff. So I crossed another on a unicycle. That's that's what happened in the last sort of few weeks, last three weeks. Um, I'm pretty chuffed with that. And I did it unsupported, um, which I don't think many people can claim. Uh, that was, yeah, it was a tough rise. Uh, it wasn't anywhere near as tough as I thought it was going to be. People warned me a lot about this sort of scary nullarbor section. And I think that's partly due to the fact that I crossed in the winter time, if I crossed in the summer time, yeah, I think it would have been a lot tougher. Uh, but the distances out there, while they're still pretty huge, um, it was never more than about 120 miles of nothing, which sounds like quite a lot. But then you consider that there is literally hundreds and hundreds of caravans and camper vans driving on this road each day. Um, they were constantly stopping, saying hi, and I'd always ask to give them, good, uh, for them to give me a little bit of water. Um, which was the big thing. So water, not an issue out there. In the summer, sure. However, uh, what was an issue out there was uh, safety. And uh, I'd say while I was out in the Nullarbor and while I'm in Australia, this is my most prized possession. <laughs> it is a luminous vest and it keeps, it, I, I feel that it kept me very safe on the road. So if you are thinking of cycling this way, get yourself some visibility, get some lights, um, yeah you'll feel so much safer for it. Because those road trains are scary. Um, and there's definitely some sections out there where there's no hard shoulder, uh, where I did feel pretty vulnerable. Okay, so here ends the nullable section of my Australian ride. And it wasn't as tough as I thought it was gonna be. And tomorrow, hopefully, I'll meet Mark Beaumont, who is cycling around the world in 80 days. And he's about 30, 35, 36 days in, something like that. So what's taken me two and a half years, it's taken him 35 days. So well done, Mark. Hopefully I'll see you, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. I think he's coming through at about, well, we should meet maybe around 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. I need to check where he is, what he's doing, but that'd be amazing. All right, I'm gonna go to bed now. I'm gonna get an early night, packed up as much of the unicycle as I can, and we will try and head off reasonably early tomorrow morning, and hopefully intersect, well, Hopefully Mark will, will come up behind me on the road. We'll see. Good night. Do you want those now or not? Uh, no. no? Mark Beaumont is coming through in like in half an hour. Right. And I'm not packed. Okay. See ya. Oh. <laughs> Thought the fix I'd made had worked, but look at this. This has only got a couple of mounts left in it, and I'm going to rip the seat off. <laughs> Not ideal, is it? No. <laughs> you don't want to rod up your bum. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> we shouldn't be doing that. Ten minutes till Mark comes. See, it's still loose. In a bit of a fluster at the moment. So we got we got a strap on. I think it's got the seat pretty tight. Now I just need to try and get rid of all this excess. So the seat is now kind of solid. I think I can use that, and then I'm going to come back and fix it after I've met him, hopefully. All right. See you, Lynn. I'll see you in, in half an hour or so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Let's see if I can get on this damn thing. And he's up. Hello. Stop on the main road, I'm meeting somebody. So I'll explain. Hi. <laughs> Is this the main road? Uh, no, but why are you I'm riding around the world. I'm meeting with a guy cycling around the world in 80 days. He's going to be here in like 10 minutes or 5 minutes. I need to get on the same road as him when meeting. If I miss him, then I'll miss him. But don't ride with him on the road. Yeah, won't do. Um, yeah. When you came out, when you came yeah, out yeah. the driveway. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 I, 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 yeah. You've got no indicators, yeah. no nothing, you've got no lights, you've got no lights, you've Yeah, point taken. Yeah, point taken. Yeah, yeah, point taken. I'm going around the world, so London to London is the idea. Yeah. So I get to this road, and then which way do I turn, or is it just straight? So you're heading like Adelaide way? Yes, yeah, to yeah, Adelaide so before I get to. Okay, can I head off? Will that be all right? I will stay on the edge. Thank you very much. Hi. No. Is he up ahead? Oh no! Shit. Do you want to jump in with us? Yes. Yeah. We're going to be coming back into town anyway, so we can drop you back. Yeah. So is so where, where's Tony, Tony, Ed? And yeah, Tim, bud. Where did you start this morning? Um, about 90k's out of town, basically. Okay, so just before Penang, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Okay. which felt which felt epic at the time but this is absolutely next level I mean I'm right. riding 60 hours a day averaging 240 a day it's, yeah this is brutal yeah absolutely brutal I wasn't sure because when you did it 10 years ago I mean you were doing it pretty much by yourself weren't you yeah, and I, mean, yeah I mean it was solo unsupported but you know I'd ride for eight hours a day eight nine hours and then I would camp I would recover I'd I was off the bike for a lot more than I was on the bike, whereas this time it's the opposite way around. No, I mean, 16 hours a day on the bike is, um, yeah, I can't imagine I'll do this again. <laughs> now, this is day 35. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it's, it's going to plan. Bang on schedule. Yes. I, I saw you had that crash in Russia, was it, with the yeah, pothole? Yeah, so on day nine. Have okay. you recovered from that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I had to fix my tooth. Um, Got like a temporary resin filling, and um, yeah, my health is still not 100, but yeah, I'm good. I mean, That's so, great. so which route do you go through Russia? I didn't. So I, I I went to the Caspian Sea to yeah. Azerbaijan, and I took there's a the freight ship you can take across to Kazakhstan, yeah, and then just through Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, and through China. Next route? Southeast Asia, yeah. What's that thing like on the hills? <laughs> it's fixed gear. Uh, I think it bought one. One pedal rotation is about three meters, so it's pretty stiff. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know, are you suffering from saddle sores? Not too bad. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I do after 16 hours and it hurts, yeah. but uh, I've ridden a penny farthing, and yeah. that's kind of the same idea, like you just can't get out the saddle, you're sitting pretty heavy on it. Yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, I, I, I get problems. More so when I was in Southeast Asia when it was really humid. Yeah. Since I've arrived in Australia, I've been feeling a lot, lot better, you know? That's always the issue. When I did, uh, Yeah, take care. Six days to Sydney, that's incredible. Enjoy your ride. Yeah, I would show your hands, but right. we, we, can do, we can do a fist bump, eh? Okay, bye. 
buddy. See you. <laughs> Good luck with it. That was Mark Beaumont. I got to meet Mark Beaumont. Well, pretty chuffed with that. He's cracking on because obviously I, I'm not doing anywhere the speed that he usually does. But uh, I think these guys are gonna are gonna head back to Sejuna in a bit and leave his support car to, to follow him. Um, well, really pleased. That was great. It's uh, what he's doing. He's yeah, he's pushing himself to the absolute extreme. Before I turned up, he was having a 10-minute sleep. So I think that that, uh, that shows you how tired you are if you can literally get off the bike and sleep instantly for like 10 minutes and then get up again and, and keep going. You've got to be really pushing yourself hard. All right, back at Lynn's place now, back in the workshop. Uh, thank you, Mark's team, for dropping me back. I know you were heading back this way anyway to Sejuna, but thank you for dropping me back. <laughs> Otherwise, it would have been a little bit of a ride on a dodgy bike. Uh, right. That was cool. Now I need to get down to uh, trying to fix this dodgy saddle. You're here, and you're part of the story, yes. and you say interesting things. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're, just, you're just performing now. Alright, so I've got uh, got the two offending pieces. Gonna do what I did last time, but this time I'm gonna glue it in, uh, and then throw a, some kind of grub screw through the middle of it, and hopefully that will hold. Again, this is all, it's all a bit of bodging, isn't it? But I think yeah. we're getting there. I'm now going to throw a drill bit through this whole unit and, and then get a bolt through it. That's a much better fix. I'm going to throw it back on the unicycle and, and take it for a test ride. I don't know. There is definite movement in that seat, um, which isn't good. I like it to be stiff. I love to think there might be a better solution to this. Halfway through another solution, I am pulling the seat and this handlebar post. And I'm pulling together with some with some cord, and this actually seems to be working. Yeah, that is not going anywhere. Fantastic. Good stuff. That is feeling very strong. <sighs> Leaving Sejuna now. It's been four days I've been here. I wasn't really expecting that. It's Barb, it's Lynn obviously. Yeah. Barb's Lynn's friend. Uh, just uh, thank you. It's, uh, we met, what, four days ago outside of Foodlands, outside the supermarket here, and he just said, hey, do you want a bed? So I said, yeah. I think you didn't expect that I'd be staying for four days. <laughs> Not for four days, yeah. but you've been, it's been a pleasure having you. Yep, it has. We, oh, I love you, Ed. You're yeah. just like another son. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Take okay. care, all right? Yeah, you, be, you too. Yeah. Yep. So, you're all charged all up now, so you're All charged right. up, ready okay. to go. All right. Yeah. All right. Take care. <laughs> <Bye -bye. Yeah. laughs>